Hi everyone, welcome back to Frappe School. This is the 10th chapter of our inventory management course. In this chapter, we will be discussing the reports and dashboards available in the inventory module. By the end of this chapter, you will be able to understand the different reports and dashboards available on ERP Next and their significance. One of the biggest uses of inventory reporting is managing the inventory. An organization needs to know what they have to ensure that they don't run out of items before customers' orders are fulfilled. Ordering too late results in out-of-stock items and lost sales. Ordering too much too soon ties up your cash, increases your risk of damaged inventory and requires more space for warehousing. Accurate inventory reporting tells you exactly when your stock levels reach the reorder point so that you can restock inventory on time. In ERP Next, once the transactions are recorded, reports and dashboards can not only show the current state of inventory but also help you be proactive by providing valuable insights based on orders and requests from various stakeholders. Let's now have a look at some important stock reports in ERP Next. The first thing we'll take a look at is the stock ledger entry list. We can navigate to it using the awesome bar. The stock entry list is informative. It shows us all previously created stock entries in the system. We cannot create new entries via the list. The list includes all the transactions involving movement, selling of buying of stock. We can filter this list based on item code, warehouse, or by vouchers by using the fields given here. Next, we can take a look at our stock ledger. This ledger is a detailed record that keeps track of stock movements for our organization. It shows inward and outward transactions related to manufacturing, purchase, sales, transfers, and more. The report reflects the quantity and value of stock issued, received, or transferred along with the stock item and its warehouse details. When the perpetual inventory system is enabled, this report helps present a more granular view of stock transactions. We can filter and sort this report based on warehouses, items, item groups, batch numbers, projects, and even units of measure. Quick Stock Balance is a tool in ERP Next that can be used to retrieve the current balance of stock and value of any item in any particular warehouse or any particular date. This is especially handy during audits or to verify details before transactions. Let's see how it works. We will first need to select a warehouse and a date. Accordingly, the stock quantity and balance will be fetched in real time. Once we have this information, we can even have a look at the stock balance report by clicking on the stock balance report button at the top. This will redirect us to the report filtered by the item and warehouse we just specified. The stock balance report shows stock transactions as per sales and purchase invoices. We can see the in and out quantity as well as the balance stock quantity and balance valuation here. Next, let's explore the Delivery Note Trends report. This report shows a periodic analysis of the delivery notes created in the system. We can change the period to either monthly, quarterly, half-yearly or yearly. Accordingly, the report will show the amount of delivery notes created and their amounts. We can even filter this report by item, item group, customer, customer group, project or territory. Similar to Delivery Trends, this report shows a periodic analysis of the purchase receipts created in the system. We can change the periodicity to the time frame we want, either monthly, quarterly, half-yearly or yearly. Accordingly, the report will show the item quantity and its respective amount. We can filter this report based on item, item group, supplier, supplier group and project. Next, let's move on to the stock levels. 
there are multiple reports available for us to check an item's stock level. The first is Stock Projected Quantity Report. This report lists item and warehouse-wise stock levels, taking into consideration all stock transactions. It gives details about the actual quantity of the item and the planned quantity, which includes unfulfilled work orders. The report also shows quantities requested or ordered for purchase or sale. After taking all these transactions into account, the report shows a projected quantity that is calculated by using this formula. Actual quantity plus planned quantity plus requested quantity plus ordered quantity minus the reserved quantity. This projected inventory is used by the planning system to monitor the reorder point and to determine the reorder quantity as well as monitor safety stock levels. These levels are maintained to serve unexpected demands. Next, we will explore the item shortage report. This report shows all the items whose stock levels are going to be replenished soon. It shows the item's current and projected quantity. This report helps us understand the difference in value between the stock account and the stock balance report. This is important to make sure that the stock balance and the closing account stock matches with each other at the end of the year. If it does not, we can refer to this report and find any incorrect transactions. Then, we can make adjustment entries to reconcile the difference. This report helps us check batch-wise stock balance. As we can see here, it shows the balance quantity, purchased quantity, sold quantity and batch serial number. Lastly, let's explore the stock dashboard. We can navigate to it using the awesome bar. The dashboard shows us a lot of information. It shows us the total amount of active items we have in our system along with its percentage increase or decrease. It also shows us the total number of warehouses listed in our system and the total value of stock that we have. The dashboard also lists a few reports that we just explored. As we can see here, warehouse-wise stock items, purchase and delivery trends, item shortage summary and more. We can add other reports too. This brings us to the end of our inventory management course. We hope this course has provided you with a good understanding of the stock module and how you can use it to keep a better track of your inventory. For more information, please refer to the official ERPNext documentation at docs.erpnext.com. Thank you.